Okay, so, February 5, 2024. Uh, today started out at around 30 degrees, cold. I saw frost on the ground. That's too cold to go out though. <laughs> anyway, uh, it didn't warm up much. It's already 11 p.m. 11 a.m. and uh, I don't even think it's 40 degrees yet. And it's north wind here. I came out with just a sweatshirt on, but I had to go back and get my heavier jacket. Anyway, uh, cattle are somewhere else. Uh, anyway, uh, I'm back for another day of uh, cutting these limbs up. I'm going to cut these limbs up here. And then uh, I'm going to cut some of these top ones off too, just to get them out of my way for when I mow the little bit of grass that's here during the summertime. Well, that shouldn't take long. And then I'm going to drag them all up to the top of the hill, throw them down, throw them down onto the other brush pile that I made the other day. And I got my chainsaw on the other side of the truck to help it warm up because it's so cold here. So cold. That wind. The sun's warm, but that yeah, hope I don't have many problems with that today. Still got to figure out this, the uh, master control switches. Okay, let's uh, see if I can get it started, cut something up. So I'll be cutting them up too. Down there, there's only three trees down there to cut up. That shouldn't be too hard. I'm going to cut these stumps out too. But I'll, I'll do that after I cut them up. Then I'll come over here and cut them at least some small ones out and uh, whatever else I can do up here. Okay, let's get started. Well, yesterday I replaced this cord. Still a little, still a little bit of slack in it, but not too much. I left this cord long. That's how much I shortened it yesterday after I changed it. Then that's an old cord from a lawnmower, which I salvaged. I had it started yesterday, so see if I can start it again. Still having trouble with this switch right here. This yesterday it wouldn't start. It wouldn't. I mean, it would turn over when I pulled the cord, but it wouldn't start. Well, I never. I don't know if it starts in the choke anyway. But anyway, after I put it up there, it wouldn't start and run. It wouldn't start running. It, it would turn over, but it when I pulled the cord, but it wouldn't start. So I turned it off, and it just had to just to see if it would turn over. I pushed it up, and I started it with one pull, right there. But then if I push it back just a hair, right there, that makes contact in that on that uh, thing there inside, uh, and it shuts off. But then this pushed all the way forward. There, maybe I can show you. Uh, let me turn it off a minute. Yeah, right here. It's hard to see, but right in there. There's a piece of, there's a little wire come out, a piece of metal. And if, when it's up like that, that spring there touches the plastic. But when I pull it, oop, am I in the right place? Yeah, that spring there, flat spring, or what do they call it? Contact spring, contact something. Anyway, uh, when it's like that, it'll run because it's on the plastic. So, but when I pull it back a little, a little bit, just a little bit, then it hits that piece of metal in there. But over here, it won't. It won't start. I don't know why. I'll have to figure that out. But if I can get it to run in that position, I'll be happy. As long as it runs. Well, it started, well, I choked it, and then I put it up here, and, and it ran. I started it. It ran for about 15 seconds, and then shut off again. So I'm going to try to start it again in that position. If that don't work, I'll push it all the way to the top. Uh, I've got the saw to run. 
I, it only runs when that master control switch is pushed all the way up to the off position or be or should I say beyond the off position yeah and then I just have to pull it back just a, a hair to get it shut off anyway at least, at least I got it to work not the way it's supposed to but it, it worked uh, now I gotta well, I'll pick them up later I gotta force put those uh, uh, I don't know I searched online what would cause that to work like that so I was able to I was able to start it uh, I was able to get it started there but it wouldn't run so I had to push it all the way up past the stop position and then to keep it running otherwise it shuts off it only runs for about 15 seconds there and then I gotta push it all the way up to keep it going I don't understand that at all <sighs> I'll keep I'll keep thinking about it and uh, trying to figure something out but uh, till that as long as I can get it to work uh, I'm gonna cut these off three four yeah, I'll cut this four off from up here I think I can do it I'll cut that one from down there I need to cut this one off yeah I need to cut that off cut that one off from up here I think I'll cut that one off too since I'm here. Okay. Okay, let's let's work on let's get them cut first. Well, I got them cut off. And I got them two cut down. I'll cut that from down below. And those over there too. I'll pick these up later. I'm gonna get all the cutting done first. In the shade down there, though. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna take a little break. Sit in front of the truck, get out of this wind, warm up a little bit by the sunshine. <sighs> nice place to warm up, sitting in the sun with a, when there's a north wind coming from that direction. Cold, very cold, a bit warm there, sitting there. Okay, let me go warm up. <sighs> Just sitting here, enjoying my view of my place. <sighs> Took a lifetime, well, almost a lifetime for me to create all this. Well, I didn't actually create it, but build it up. How about that? Build it up. Okay. And I forgot to wear gloves when I was moving those, picking up those cedar logs. Uh, or at least that big one anyway. And I got sap on my, sticky sap on my fingers. Oh boy, I forgot about the cedar sap. Sticky stuff. Anyway, back to taking my break, catching my breath, and warming up too. Uh, it's just me here, sunning myself front of my truck. <sighs> I moved a few branches that were cut to above the uh, brush pile. But look at that big jet up there. Leaving a heavy trail there. Thick. Anyway, uh, only two places to well, uh, close by is St. Louis or Scott Air Force Base, if it's a military plane, jet. <sighs> Let me take a walk. Well, I got the limbs moved closer to the burning pile. I'll throw them on after I get the 
trees in the ditch cut up and piled up. Then I'll throw all these green ones on top. Because uh, I, want, I, want, I think they'll burn better on top. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm on top of the brush pile now. And I'm going to cut those three trees there up. Throw them on here. Then I'll throw all these branches on top of that before I burn it. Ah, that'll be pretty big. Make a nice fire. Winds from the north, 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 northeast, coming in through that direction. So I've got to be careful when I burn it. I don't want it blowing on any cars. But I'm lucky that we don't change to the south from the south. Maybe I'll wait. Maybe I'll wait for a better day to burn it when the wind's from the west, from that direction, or the south. That would be better. Yeah. Just in case somebody comes by with with a big flame going on it. Okay, that's uh. Let me head down there now and cut that up. Yeah, the reason one of the reasons I'm keeping these cedars because of what it looks. See that there. That smells good. Smells like cedar, and I can I, I can use it for something as a whole block. I don't know what I would use it for, but I could also cut it up into slabs. You know, slice it, slice it, slice it, slice it. Things like thin slabs. I can use them for a bug repellent inside the house, but I don't have. I don't have any bugs in my house that I know of. Sometimes I get them ball bugs in the spring. And ladybugs, I get ladybugs sometimes. Uh, but uh, other than that, I don't have any other bugs. Anyway, that's what I would use it for. Put them in a closet, make the clothes smell good. I think, I think that's what I use cedar closets for. Cedar chest, a cedar closet. Actually, I got a cedar chest. Yeah, I don't use it for nothing. I think I got some old books in it. Anyway, uh, it's just nice to have in case I want to use them for something. That one. And I'll cut these two off. These two off. So. Okay, that's a... Uh, oh, there's that cat. Don't get in there, cat. We'll get burned up later. Yeah, it's too windy to make fire. Wind, yeah, the wind's blowing pretty strong. It's cold too. Okay, let me go cut them up anyway. Well, that's the last of the cutting I got to do. Is those three trees. <sighs> and I'll pile some more up there. Then I'll, I'll pile these on there after they're cut up. And then I'll go up there and make it even taller with those up there on top. Right now I just got to cut the limbs off of these. Yeah. Cut these limbs off. Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna save it. I'm gonna save that one. I'll save that trunk. Uh, that one, no, I don't think so. It's not working. Uh, that one. That one. Yeah, I might. I might save part of it. We'll see. Let me cut it up first, and then I'll find out. I gotta cut that crown up there. It's too bushy. They're on top of the pile. I'll cut it up in smaller pieces. Okay, let's go. Just a view from this angle. Yeah. Once I get them cleaned up, that'll that'll look really nice. I think I'll I think I'll burn some of this too. Since I got to the burning, well, maybe not today. Maybe when it, when the wind dies down. I gotta be careful around that. I'll have to, Take a shovel and I think I don't want to burn that post up. At least bring some water with me in case it does burn. Yeah, that's what I do. I bring some water with me when I burn that grass. Okay, let's start cutting. It's not going to wait for me. <laughs> uh. Well, I got them cut up. Chainsaw still not starting the way it's supposed to. I get it started in the 
I started in the uh, the running position, uh, but then uh, I got to flip it up to the past the offsets to keep it going. Otherwise, it dies after 15 seconds or so. It doesn't run very long before it shuts off. I don't know why. I don't know, just racking my brain for sure. Uh, as long as it works, as long as I can get it started. It looks like that the uh, cord too has uh, got a lot more slack in it now again. Yeah, it's, yeah I think that spring has sprung the tension with it. The recoil, yeah, the recoil spring or something. Yeah, it's not pulling it all the way back in like it's supposed to. Okay, I probably messed that up. Anyway, I can fix that. That's a pro that's an easy fix there. I just gotta get another spring uh, or coil, whatever they call it. Anyway, let me go pick them up now. I always have to get both views, don't I? Uh, it's, it's part of my memories. Something to look back on when I get old. To remember what I've done. Uh, yeah, there's cattle there must be somewhere by the barn, I guess. I don't see them out here nowhere. Oh, well, I'm sure they're warm enough. They got that big woolly coat on. Okay, let's uh, start picking stuff up. One more view from the other side of the road. Okay. Let's pick it up. I guess I'll cut that one out. And them out too. I got the I got the ditch cleaned up. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut them two down first. Ah. Uh, Cut up some three trees in the ditch, and then I cut those two stumps out. And then I cut that tree down. First thing I did was cut. The, there was a V up there at the top. I had enough for me to still cut it. So I cut them, cut them two branches off, or V's off. And then I cut the trunk down. It landed on the. It landed on the pile. I think I'll cut it up one more time. And uh, I cut them two down to the since I was at it. Since I had my saw right in. Uh, and uh, while I'm cutting stuff, because I know I'm going to have a big flame coming up here, so I'm going to try to stand on that trailer back there and cut what I can off of that. At least, at least these lower limbs that are. Hanging out. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to cut them off closer to the trunk. Because I think I can reach them with the saw up there. And then once I get them down here, then I'll cut them up some more. First things first, let me rest. I also gotta cut this up. Dude, I don't know what to do first. This one? Yeah, I think I'll cut this one up first. Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. I left the saw up there on the truck. Ah. The rest. Yeah, I cut these up first, <sighs> and then I would. Then I would, if I can reach them, I'm gonna cut those branches that are sticking out uh, underneath the power line and above them, that are hanging over the brush pile. Cause if those flames hit that tree. I don't want to igniting the rest of those trees. So that's uh, cut them off of there first. Okay. Uh, time to rest. Uh, catch my breath. Haven't had a view from this far up by the driveway yet. Yeah. Yeah, I'll cut because they're dry already. I think they're dry from the fire that I made before. Yeah, they're a little bit burnt. So I'm going to try to cut them off before I burn that pile. I think I can get most of them from on top of the trailer. If not, I'll get a ladder and cut them with a handsaw. 
Either one way or another, I'm going to cut them off. Yeah, they look better too. But they were cut off. You know, I thought about cutting the whole tree down. That's too much work. <laughs> yeah, I'll do that some other time, but probably easier to cut the tree down is cut those branches off. But uh, 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 I'll think about it. I'll think about it. Yeah. Uh, uh, I'm gonna think about that first. All I care about right now are the limbs. Uh, tree is another story. Well, I got that tree cut up. Just got a pile on the pile yet. Uh, I'm gonna put some markers. I'm gonna put some uh, markers where those stumps are. So in case the road people come and cut that side of the hill this summer, they won't damage their more. They'll have to go around those stumps. Yeah. Yeah, but they won't, once the, once the weeds start growing around those stumps, they won't be able to see them. So I'll, I'll mark them so easily seen. Just in case. Okay. Oh, these on there, and then I'll go up there and see what I can cut on that tree. I think I'll just cut the limbs for now. I think that's if I can reach them. Now I'll get a ladder and cut it by hand. With a handsaw. Okay, let's uh, clean that up. I'm just sitting here. Relaxing. While I'm working on this. Cutting this trees. And look at that. The world is passing me by overhead. That's a nice bright shiny plane. Yeah, ain't that something. Yeah. I haven't been on a plane since uh, 2019. Yeah, that's the last time I flew. I think it was in May 2019 because our trip to our trip to uh, Savoog had to cancel in 2020 because of COVID and all the quarantine problems. And then by June, my wife had passed away. She got real sick in the, and uh, in April and May, uh, she just couldn't beat it. Not the best of her. She was in the hospital, St. Louis, Lawrence Joyce, for three weeks from May, May 16th to or 17th to June 7th. Oh, look, there's another. Oh, there's another jet going the other way. How about that? I think it's a, I don't even hear him. I don't hear him. It must be going pretty fast. I'll hear him later, maybe. Yeah. There's another. Oh, there's a third one. My God. I didn't see that one. There's a third one. Cross, crisscrossing. That one's going uh, northwest. Oh, boy. Look at that. Ain't that something. The world really is passing me by. <laughs> flying over, flying over me. And I don't have a care in the world. What's happening around me? Except what I'm doing. Okay. I almost got this cleaned up. Let's get going on that. Well, it's 1.30 p.m. on February 5, 2024. And I, uh, it's a sunny day, but cold. Very chilly. North wind coming in from that direction. Uh, but I got that big elm. I think it's an elm. I'm not sure. Even sure. Some kind of tree that was growing there. I cut that down, and I got this ditch cleaned up. This side and this side. So, uh, what I got to do now is uh, 
get those limbs that I cut up on top and throw them on the, on the bio. Uh, and then when I'm finished with that, then I'm going to try to cut them overhanging limbs off that cedar tree. Uh, if I can. We'll see. I'll give it a try. But first things first, first I got to get those branches on top of the hill there to throw it onto this pile. Yeah, just another view from this northwest or the north side of the road here. All right, north end. Okay, let's go move those, those let's move those branches on the top now. Well, that's what I did today so far. Clean the ditch out on this side. That side was done already. I cut those stumps off. Yeah, all the stumps. I got one, two, three, four, five, six big stumps I cut off. Uh, now I gotta move those branches from the top, throw them onto the pile. Then I'm gonna try to cut some overhanging branches on the cedar. Okay, let's, let's get that. Let's get that done. And of course, I gotta get a view from this angle too. Yeah, looking good. I don't know, I don't think I'm gonna burn the pile today. I don't like the direction of the wind. I'll wait till I get a south wind or a west wind. Okay, let's uh, just get everything piled up for now. Oh, view from the top. Okay, a few limbs to pick, uh, throw on the pile. I may whiten the pile up, I don't know. It's getting kind of tall. Oh, I had to plug in my portable battery. Phone, phone battery was getting low. Okay, let me take a look from the other side. I got all that stuff picked up. Well, I picked all that stuff up. Yeah. Now I can run my lawnmower through here easier this summer. Yeah. Don't worry about the brush in my face. And uh, I would have cut those branches off. I think I can. Get, I think I agree most of those. Uh, at least on this, on this side. And uh, now I got a clear view of the uh, bottom pasture. I used to have this part. This fence used to come up from there, come along under these trees, and go there to that T-post, and then over. But I was thinking that I was going to, uh, along that side there, if I could point to it, along that side underneath those trees, uh, and I needed a place to park this. I needed a place to park this thing better, so. This, out, this worked out pretty good, and I also thought maybe I could stack round bales along at least one row along there. But before I can do that, I got to cut some of them branches off over there. Yeah, they're too low for the tractor. But what I got works. Stacking them along the road, and looks like one of the animals is eating. Of the cattle. <laughs> yeah, it'd be a nice day if it wasn't for that cold wind. Whew. I can't take it. It's too cold. I was starting to get used to that warm weather. And now, uh, anyway, all I can do is cut them off. I'm just going to let them drop. Let them drop, and then I'm going to come back and cut them along the edge there. Cut the, uh, like the stumps off the, the, the clear end. The leafy part, I'm just gonna let them drop onto that pile. Ah, yeah, that's that's working on that. I'm down here by that power pole, it's right on my right side, over here, and uh, I wanted a view from here. Of the before and after I cut those limbs off. 
Okay, that'll work. Oh, here comes the rest of them. Or two more, anyway. Here comes two more. Uh, they're still in the shade, but I guess... Uh, I don't think they feel the cold with that woolly coat on. The Highland pair. Uh, the sickly one is didn't come around yet. Uh, she'll probably come around later. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, let's, let's get some cutting done up there. Yeah. Okay. Here's a nice view of the cattle in the bottom. I remember when I bought this place, this, this five acres right here. When I bought this, this was all, all full of trees. I mean, it was thick with trees. And this hill here was, uh, I don't forget what, it was like uh, some kind of bushes. Yeah. Uh, there might have been some grass. Weeds, mostly weeds, I think. Because the, the only place that was farmed was on top of this hill where the house is all the way to the barn. The, the top high ground was barn, but it, then it was mid, left idle for years and years. So trees, the cedar trees were growing. Well, they, they were baby back when I bought the land. Anyway, I eventually had this all pushed out, dug a pond, and in 1990 I moved the cattle there. Yeah, from 83 to 90 is when I was working on it to get it cleaned up. Yeah, it looks good now. Okay, back to work. Cutting the trees. Oh, I got them cut off. I need to get them cut up. Well, at least cut it up where I can uh, at least uh, throw the branches around. Make them a little smaller. They're pretty big branches. Oh. Uh, let me get a closer view. Uh, it's not closer, but I came out on the road to get a view from the road. Yeah, the rest of them are, I think I'll be okay. As long as I get the wind in the right direction. Maybe that'll happen tomorrow. Today's Monday, February 5, 2024. Now let's get a closer view. Yeah, I got a lot of cut up yet. I think I just got to cut them in half, cut these, uh, the ends off, and the rest of them should be easy to maneuver. I can just leave them there, cut them off, and leave them there, and when the fire burns down, then I can, whatever's not burnt, then I can throw them down into the coals. Yeah, I might try that. Well, I got to at least cut them in half, so cut them off about, cut them off right about there, even in line with that post. If I cut them there, it should be enough to burn on the pile, and the rest I can throw in later, or I can throw them on top. Okay, let me go around to the backside and take a look. Well, it looks pretty, looks pretty good. I can't go any, I couldn't go any higher anyway. Yeah, I cut them off right at the top of the hill here, right about there. Uh, Whatever is easier for me. I'll probably cut some from this side and cut some from the other side. Yeah. I'll cut them up so they're easy to handle. That's all. Okay. Let's uh, see if I can get that chainsaw going again. It was really, it's still getting, getting harder to start and to run. It's not right. But I can get it to work. I guess that's the main thing. I can get it to work eventually okay let's get the rest of it done now oh, I almost forgot to get a view from the road on this side yeah <laughs> it looks pretty looks pretty good now yeah probably wouldn't hurt just to cut that whole tree out yeah but actually I thought about cutting the tops off of those other two 
possible, but I can't do it by myself. Uh, at least the, the utility guys, they, uh, they uh, cut the gap in there because I was having problems with those trees uh, leaning against the wire. They did that in the last 20, 2022. They did that in 2022. Yeah, 2022. Okay. Okay, let's. Uh, I'm gonna get that saw going again and cut some more. I had to get a view from the top of the hill on this side. Yeah. It's gonna make a big fire when I get it started. What the? I'll wait for a less windy day. Yeah. So, right now, the wind, actually, the wind's from the northwest. I could probably burn it now. But it's just too windy, I don't like that. Too much wind, it might blow. The wind might blow sparks into those trees. So I'll wait. And look, you can tell over there at top, that's where my fire pole is. They, they had to trim those up to bark. Cut a little bit now. Uh, I'm done cutting. I gotta clean up the mess though. Yeah, they're, they're still fighting over the hay, but they still got plenty of hay. I was gonna feed them tomorrow. But I think I'll wait until, until they clean it up better. They got plenty of hay there. Yeah. Uh, the other one's over there, the fourth one, on the other side of that pond, way over there. Just laying down on the top of the cup there. Okay. <coughs> oh, it's cold air. Hard to breathe that cold air. Uh, air is too cold. Oh. Look at that, it's all opened up now. Clear view through here. That's nice. Okay. Closer view. Yeah, I cut up a little bit. There was some kind of viney thing in there. So, I guess I think the vines were growing down on the hill here, but they had reached up into there. Yeah, a lot of viney stuff. I couldn't hardly get in there to cut. But I'll clean this up a little bit. I'll throw as much as I can in there. Yeah, cut that up a little bit. All I got to do is clean it up a little bit. Throw as much as I can over to the left, onto the pile in the ditch. Yeah, but I'm not going to burn it today. It's too windy. I don't like too windy when I burn. Okay, let's clean up what I can. Oh, got that cleaned up. All right. I'll burn that some other day when there's no less wind and a little warmer too. A couple of them fell down there, this one, and another one fell on on the other side. But most of them are on top of the pile. Okay, let's go to the other side now. I don't have to walk around, I can walk right through now. <laughs> yeah, that big limb down there fell down the hill. I tried to put it on, but it fell off. I put it on top of it. Oh, I'll, uh, I'll, pick it up. I'll lean it up against the pile. That'd be good now. Yeah, looks good. Looks good. Yeah, good enough for me. Everything's clear now. Now the sun will shine through here. These are, these are for me to, I can even mow through here now. Yeah, keep it all cleaned up. <coughs> yeah. Okay, uh, let me go down the road. Yeah, I gotta pick this limb up. Pick it up and lean it against there. I got another one, smaller one on the other side. Okay. Yeah, I think it's pretty good. 
Let me put that up now. Uh, it's almost 3 p.m. on February 5, 2024. And I picked that branch up, leaned it against the pile. And I picked this little branch up and leaned it against the pile. So, if it's ready to burn when I get to it weather conditions right now it's too windy yeah, it's too windy and it's from the north I don't like it when it's from the north I'd rather have it from the south that way it blows down the smoke blows that way yeah I'll wait I'll wait for a nice day to burn this when there's hardly any wind okay I did what I wanted to do today. Yeah. Don't have a problem with the chainsaw. Or the, I think it's called the master control switch. Uh, but I was able to get it to run with a little difficulty. And uh, still a problem with it. So I'm gonna think about it. But I mean, I, I, I don't really need it no more here. I got a big tree to cut off, cut up in the, on my fence out there in the big pasture. But, uh, I got that okay. Okay. Still a nice day. Uh, even even with the cold north wind, it's still a nice day. And I think I got above 40 today. Uh, yeah. Nice day. Okay, I'm gonna. Call it a day here. Can't do no more. Still gotta burn that pile. You know that pile big night. When we were when we were kids, Dad would we were cutting firewood with my dad, and we'd always make these big brush piles. And if we didn't burn them, uh, the rabbits would like to go in there. Most of the time, if it was really cold, we'd have to we had to burn the brush pile just to keep warm. <coughs> Sorry. Hands and feet were always frozen by the time we, by the time we got done cutting wood. Uh, I guess Dad could take it better. Uh, but us kids were <laughs> always huddled around the fire. One side is cooking, the other side is frozen. <laughs> we, had, we had to keep rotating like a rotisserie to, <laughs> to warm ourselves evenly. Warm the front, and then warm the back, and then go back to the front. Uh, yeah, I burnt a lot of shoes doing that because I put my feet in the fire to warm them up. They were, they were numb, frozen numb. But I don't have to do that anymore. I stopped making firewood a long time ago. Uh, when I first moved into my house, I had a, I had a wood stove. I only got rid of the wood stove, uh, the Fisher wood stove. Yeah, it was a good one. Yeah, and. Uh, I stopped using it years and years ago, but uh, for the first few years, I had plenty of firewood. Plenty of firewood for my wood stove. Some of it wasn't even kiln drying. Killed, kiln dried. Uh, they were boards from my old uh, lumber company job that I had. Actually, I think I was still working there. Eighty-eight. Yeah, eighty-eight. I worked at that place for nine years. Part of the lumber company. Nine years. Uh, in eighty-eight, I, I uh, quit that job and started a job at the uh, auto parts plant. Yeah. yeah, and I worked there for thirty-two years. That, but I had to worked there because uh, it was indoors. The lumber company job was outdoors. And it was always hot in the summer, cold in winter. Of course, the auto plant, uh, auto parts plant, uh, that uh, factory, that was uh, hot in summer, but at least it was warm in winter. <coughs> and anyway, that, that's that. That's the, uh, that's the, uh, oh, ancient history now. I said I don't make fire. I just use space heaters in my house. Uh, this warm area that I'm in. Okay.
okay. Sorry, it's just uh, half underground, so it stays longer anyway, even without it. It stays longer. Okay, well, that's enough jeppering. I gotta go. Get out of this wind. Park my truck. And wait for a better day to burn this. Okay, that's all for now, and uh, catch you on the next one. Bye. I just wanted a wide view of the whole thing, of the whole ditch over there. I just wanted a wide view. Oh, that wind's strong. Uh, blowing from the northeast now. East, northeast. Still cold. Coming in from that direction. Uh, oh, gotta go in. I'm freezing here. Uh, okay, that's all for today. Uh, catch you on the next one. Bye. Well, even though the north wind was really cold today, strong and cold, it still reached 50 degrees. I didn't think it was good. I don't think I got that warm. <coughs> sure didn't feel like it. Anyway, that's what we got today. It's around 3:20 p.m. and I'm done for the day. But anyway. Temperature reached 50, even though it didn't feel like it. All right, that's all for today. Catch you on the next one. Bye.